As we celebrate Atlanta Pride, let's take a journey into the past. Brad Littlefield shares how a recently rediscovered item from nearly three decades ago has now made a forever home in his heart. Brad Littlefield has a heart for collecting memories. So I've always had my day job, you know, doing the recruiting and helping people out, and uh, uh, my passion projects, which are feature films. I've done 11. From Atlanta to the West Coast for 25 years. I used to do work here for Hands On Atlanta, AIDS Legal Project, Center for Domestic Violence Prevention in San Mateo County. Um, hop along pet rescue in Oakland. Up to Seattle to assist with his mother's end of life care and back to the Peach State once again. Uh, you know, very far away from where my heart is in Atlanta. His heart full of memories remind him of where he comes from, where he's been, and where he's going to next. Uh, I have large duffel bags full of hundreds, maybe thousands of personal photos. But there's one very special item from his life's journeys that's now at the center of his heart. Talk to me about the baby shoes. A pair of baby shoes left to Littlefield nearly 30 years ago by a man named Bob Waterman. Very strong-willed, opinionated uh, perfectionist and a great guy. Waterman took some of his very first steps of life in these shoes. He marched to his own drum. Marching as his own authentic self. And as Waterman made strides into the next chapters of his life, these baby shoes were bronzed and tucked away in a box full of his own memories inside of his home. That is, until they stepped into Littlefield's life. That day came when Waterman marched to the beat of his own drum for the very last time in 1995. And I ended up being assigned to assist him through AIDS legal projects. I started working with him on his end of life planning. Uh, he was in the infectious disease ward at Grady Hospital. And I just sat with him and held his hand and um, did my best to comfort him. His family was uh, extremely conservative religiously. They basically um, spoke about what a sinner he was and how he deserved this fate. In his final hours, as he walked out of this life into the next, Waterman had only a handful of visitors. Littlefield was one of them. After his death, the day came to collect what remained of Waterman's life, including his memories. A final box of photos, along with his baby shoes, tossed by his family's shame. It's not, you know, things, it's people that have value. Only to be kept by Littlefield in the end. I guess you won't get left behind. <laughs> After his death, Littlefield marched on. And I knew that God meant for me to find something up there. In a new season of his life, after selling his Atlanta home in 1997 and buying it back again in 2021, he stumbled upon a reminder untouched in the attic of his home. I reached down between two of the rafters into some of the old um, insulation and I found Bob's baby shoes of a friend long past, but never forgotten. There's still a, a very poignant reminder that we existed. When a pair of baby shoes hold such a big place in your heart, it's not the items, but the memories that remind us of where we come from, where we've been, and where we're going to next. You have value. We all have value.